Hey guys, it's Riley with Flash. We uh, went to a tax sale, so I have some other neat stuff I wanted to show you guys that we got. First thing I want to show you is we got these four covers. We got a saddle cover, and they're all clear. A hat protector. We think this is another saddle protector. It doesn't have a name or anything on it. And then we got um, a cleaning mitt. So we'll be trying all those out and seeing how those work. Next thing we got were two white saddle pads for uh, my dressage saddle that I got last year. And I only had one pad for it last year that we got from a tax sale, so I wanted to get some more. Um, there's this one, which I don't think has a brand name on it. And it's just a plain white pad. Yep, no brand name on that one. And then this one, which actually is a Dover pad. Um, I don't know if I've ever used anything from Dover before, but it was a nice pad. We got them each for like four bucks, so I thought I'd give them a try. Um, but I'm excited to try those on him and see how they go with his saddle. Next up, we have a group of a couple of things. Uh, first thing is this. It's kind of a driving cabasson. I haven't used one before. Um, I was thinking about using it, and then I was looking at it closer, and I don't know that I would like how that would pull on his head. Um, so if I can figure out how to use it and I decide it's something that would help him, we'll end up using it. Otherwise, it might just be something that we um, put a lot of oil on. It's very stiff um, and then end up reselling it at like Midwest Horse Fair or online or something. But trying that one. And then this halter. It's a sh leather show halter and I actually have everything off of it and it all taken apart right now because I was cleaning it. Um, and if you guys ever want to see tack cleaning, I um, just got some silver cleaner, so I've been working on cleaning up this silver that's on here and whatnot, because um, there is a little bit on there. Like that one. Um, and they look a lot better than they did. The On the actual halter itself needs a little more work, but these are the silver pieces that are on it. And they look a lot better than they did before. You can see they actually are shining now. And then the nose band. Um, the nose band was I it was getting a little, or it was a little hard to get it clean. If you look closely, it's still quite like tarnished or just dirty. And I spent probably at least a half an hour, 45 minutes working on it. But we'll see how that ends up. I might clean it one more time. And then just all of the under the chin pieces and whatnot are all here in a baggie just to keep track of what pieces go to Walt Halter, because we have a couple of them right now. And then like those could use a little more work to get those a little bit cleaner. Um, it was getting a little hard to get them clean, so I decided just to stop where I was at. And then the other thing we got from that same table was a 4-H backpack. With that same group, we actually did get a couple more things, a couple of things my mom's working on, so I didn't want to take them away from where she had them. Um, but then we also got, this is a slinky, and it's one that has a zipper on it, so you don't necessarily have to put their head through it. Um, I don't think I've ever used one. I've maybe used one once, and I preferred that over trying to get it over their head, especially since some horses get weird about putting stuff over their head. So I'm excited to try this on him. Okay, the next few things I have to show you guys are clothing, so I have them all kind of hanging up over here. Um, the first one is a new show shirt. I uh, ended up destroying one of mine at school, um, where I need a new undershirt for it, and then these are cuffs that go on the sleeves. I haven't tried it with the cuffs on yet. Um, I'm hoping that helps the sleeves a little bit. They're a little bit short for me. Um, but it's a pretty shirt. We got it pretty cheap. Um, I was happy with that. And then as we were leaving, I ended up finding this vest. Uh, it just says horsepower on it. I don't know if that's a brand or if that's just something that somebody had embroidered on there but I found that on the way out and I really liked that. Um, I'm very big on wearing vests so I like them all the time. And then the last thing, this was a really good deal we found. It's an entire saddle seat outfit and it has a vest. I don't know where exactly the vest went. I think it's behind here. Um, and the tie, shirt, jacket, jodhpurs, everything. Um, and then so with the whole style seal foot, we did also get the um, hat that goes with it. 
Um, unfortunately, I don't have it up here. I think it's downstairs somewhere. But so we got that. We got the outfit. The only thing we didn't get were boots, which is fine. Um, we were very happy with what we got. And I'll insert a picture next of me with the whole outfit on. Alright, the last two things. One is already at the barn and one I have here with me to show you guys. Um, the one that's at the barn is just a new halter for him. It's red. Um, on sort of time lapse of me putting these last two things on him. Um, but he broke one of his halters so we had to get him a new halter. So we got him a nice bright red one. Um, I was very happy with it. Um, it fit him pretty well. It seemed a little tight. He has a bigger head. Um, but it seemed okay. Uh, and then the other thing we got last year... You guys might remember, in February, I ended up getting this. It was a surcingle. Um, and I had some clips of showing you what we were doing in the barn aisle, since you couldn't get outside. Um, well, I wanted to get a black one, and so we found this one. And when we were looking at getting it, the person we got it from was saying that it didn't fit her horse, um, so she wasn't sure if it would fit ours. Um, and we showed her some pictures of him, and she was like, well then, that might fit him. Um, and I tried it on, and you'll see some time lapse of me putting the halter and this new sir single on him. And it fit him really well, and it has holes left. Um, he's a little on the thin side um, for where I would like him, but he always does that in winter, so not too worried about it. But so this has a couple extra holes left in it for him to, for when he puts more weight back on it. As you can see, this is like the fourth hole up. So it's got quite a bit of room for him, and it goes on like the third one on the other side or something. Um, so pretty even. Um, I was really excited with that. Um, and you'll definitely be seeing me working with him more on that to come. Other than that, that should be it for today. Thanks, guys. Bye.